now um, from Colorado Springs and, and Ms. Hiron, you know, two days after this surprise defeat, we have you here. You were considered this, you know, heavy favorite. Yesterday, you were quoted as saying that you weren't sure quite what had happened. Have you figured that out yet? Well, yeah, and I think that that was a, a really a, a, a misquote in that we know what really happened here. I mean, yes, we had a strong NRA, and and you have uh, a person like uh, Mr. Head, but really, what was what this story really is about? It's about voter suppression. When. Colorado has voted um, by mail. 70% of Coloradans vote by mail. And we didn't have access to that mail ballot. I mean, I was okay, at Okay, forgive me, but I'm going to cut you off right there because if we talk voter suppression, I've read reports of lack of popularity on your behalf. Let, let's just not go there. Let's get to the meat of the story, which is uh, this gun control that stance the meat of the that, story. that you and your. Uh, let's, let's talk, though, about the stance that you and your colleague, the, the head of the Senate, a former you know, police officer, ha have taken. And here you have mega, mega cash from. Um, mayors against uh, illegal guns, Mayor Bloomberg, versus this grassroots effort, what happened? I'm telling you what happened is that you had um, only um, 30,000 of the voters who in the last election, um, off year election, was 45,000. And so of the people that are um, in support of very common sense um, gun legislation weren't able to get to the polls. They vote by um, ballot, and they have been doing that for 25 years. I mean, we have to call it for what it is. When I was talking to people at the doors it, and in their homes, it was that, oh, this is what this is about because you want universal background checks and you voted for that, and because you're limiting magazines to 15? Mm. I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't see that that is um, any infringement on the Second Amendment. So people didn't know what it was about. There was voter confusion. There, we didn't even know what the rules of the game were. This is the United States of America. We didn't know what the rules of the game were a week out from the election. Where to vote, how to vote, where you going to get a ballot in the mail. Um, and so it was just that confusion okay. led to the voices of people in Pueblo County and El Paso County okay. not having their voices heard, and yet they're going to have to pay for this election, the most expensive in the history of these two counties. I, I understand that that is is one side of this. The other side is the Republican who you lost to. Let's hear from uh, him and some of the, his supporters. Paula